Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to an episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the driveway, we have the least expensive option for our 2003 Honda Element. Um, as you guys know, I do have a horrible exhaust leak and I'm also getting exhaust fumes in the cab. So I'm replacing all my motor mounts and I'm just doing a brand new complete exhaust system. This has a hack job repair. So for me, it's easier. I plan on keeping this for quite some time. I'm just gonna start brand new. Um, I think from the header back, we're getting aftermarket cat. Okay, I will be selling my existing cat. Um, if you guys know, if you own a Honda Element, they are a hot commodity and uh, they sell for a lot of money. So I'm gonna be selling my cat to recoup some of my costs. I'm gonna be trying a few different things. I'm thinking about actually putting a test pipe even though this came with a cat, just to see how it is and see if my, uh, see if my shop can get around me doing that. Because technically, um, you're not supposed to have it, but we shall see. So, exhaust work is straightforward. The issue is with exhaust work, especially here in New York, everything is rusty crusty and it is a, a terrible, terrible pain. You guys see what I went through when I did my rear struts? What do you think my exhaust is going to be like? Um, I have an Uncle Johnny. Everybody has an Uncle Johnny, right? And uh, believe it or not, he's probably one of the greatest co-workers, uh, friends of all time. He is considered a legend, but he actually is a legend. Uh, I work with him. If I like him, everybody gets a nickname. I have Pops, Dad, <laughs> and an Uncle Johnny, and Tio in Spanish is uncle, so I have an uncle. Every, I have nicknames for a, a lot of the guys. If you don't have a nickname at my job and you see this video, I just don't like you. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, yeah, so this is gonna be an open box. Uncle Johnny's gonna be on camera because he hacked my phone. That's how smart he is. He figured out my password. I don't know how or why. He likes to take random pictures of himself and a couple of guys at work. So enjoy a couple of these pictures. <laughs> Uncle Johnny used to have uh, an exhaust shop uh, with his family and brothers and before, you know, things happened and he had to move on. He actually has a lift in his garage, jealous, and uh, I'm gonna be utilizing him and his lift. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing a video on how we're gonna do it. Um, if I was gonna do it in the driveway, I would probably jack up my Honda Sky High for jack stands and pray to God. Anyway, this is gonna be more of an open box. Uh, just to verify, almost everything is in here that's supposed to be in here according to the kit. And you guys can get an idea of what this thing is supposed to look like. Because like I said, I'm not sure if Uncle Johnny wants to be on YouTube. You know, these legends, these old guys, they're old school. I'm just gonna open up this box. Don't mind me. You know what sucks about doing this though? Sometimes when you open up the box and you put everything back together, it doesn't go back in the way it should, but it is what it is. Packed really, really well. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the eBay seller that I got this complete exhaust kit from. And I'll post a couple, a couple other links from them for other options that you guys have. Okay, I am reading all over that Honda Element OEM catalytic converters, not aftermarkets, are selling anywhere from six to $850. So I'm actually making money on this deal between the cost of the motor mounts and the new exhaust. So let's go down. This is my muffler. If you guys know my tailpipe is missing. It's actually rotted off right here. I don't mind it because I don't like mufflers hanging out the back of the Honda. So we might leave that. So check this out. These are plastic covers with the studs. You see how they put them on and they paint right over it. Yeah. 
You guys could see that, so that's pretty cool. That's our muffler. So we could put that at the back here, right? <clears throat> Has a dent in here. Is that a discount? I'm gonna try, it doesn't hurt. <clears throat> oh look, there's another one. Discount. We're definitely gonna try and get this cheaper. It doesn't hurt. If they say no, it is the end of the world. I am not going to make them send me a new one. Right, this is a resonator. More flanges. So we can resonators more up here. And this must be our mid pipe of some sort. Thinking here. <clears throat> See how this overlaps into here. Thinking, thinking. That well. So this does come with a five year guarantee as well. And I really wasn't too concerned about that. Now, did I price having an exhaust shop do the work for me? No. Because Uncle Johnny didn't want to help me. I had somebody else. <laughs> but uh, we can hang out and spend some quality time with Uncle Johnny outside of work. He's a good guy. Hopefully he wants to be on camera. He is definitely uh, unique, but in a very good way. All right, so this must be the most expensive part of the exhaust. If I didn't want to buy the cat, <clears throat> this exhaust system I think would be like an extra, maybe like 200 bucks cheaper. Yeah, this is the cat. Catalytic converter. Now the thing is, this was supposed to include hardware, and I don't see it unless it's in this box. And this is a Davco manufacturing catalytic converter. Here in New York, they don't care if you have an aftermarket cat. Okay, it just needs to be present. And no check engine lights on. Okay, here's our catalytic converter. Okay, and now a donut. So this would go up here. Okay, and then we have our two exhaust gaskets. Where are the exhaust gaskets for this kit? Did I miss them? All right, let me go check my phone to make sure that they were supposed to come with it. My apologies. <laughs> they were at the bottom of the box. So, let's see what we got here for hardware. These are our rubber mounts. These will go on the hooks here and then mount onto the car. It's isolators, one, two, three, one, two, three. And there should be the fourth one. One, two, three, and the fourth one. Hmm. So we're missing an isolator. One, two, three, four. So there is that. Oh, fourth isolator right here. God, I am terrible. This clamp will obviously go here. And this gasket, that's the cat, cat gaskets, isolator. Okay, so then this must, and then the gasket for here. So everything is complete. Woohoo! All 
right, guys, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. You know, the dent in the muffler is nothing. Oh, what is this shield here? Oh, uh, this is probably welded in the USA Manual F Santiago. Thank you, El Manuel Santiago, for the uh, exhaust. So I guess this cat. I'll show you what Mr. Santiago welded. Okay, all these cones here, here. Mr. Santiago can throw some, uh, some pretty good welds. Burning some beads here. Uh, this is good to go. Hopefully, maybe I could just do a test pipe and we could uh, forget about all this nonsense. We'll see. It would be a test pipe with um, O2 spaces. I have never used them, but I hear lots of good things about them. Alrighty, so if Uncle Johnny doesn't want to be on YouTube, then the end result is we're just going to do an overview and review video. With that being said, this is your unboxing of the least expensive option for exhaust on your 2003 Honda Element. That includes your catalytic converter. Okay, I will, like I said, I'm going to be putting in the description um, a link to the exact seller and the exact exhaust system I purchased. And I'm also going to put another link if you don't want to do your cat, if you just want to do the exhaust. Uh, and then I'll also put in another link just for the cat itself. And then if this exhaust system is a POS, then obviously I'll just delete everything and we'll have to look something else. All right, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, he needs exhaust. All right, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, informative, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Day's Performance. Later.